Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to talk about multi-cloud, okay? Um, and also I will touch upon hybrid cloud as well. Not only uh, going through the high level uh, definition of uh, multi-cloud, we are going to see what are all the services available in each cloud like uh, AWS, Azure, IBM Cloud, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud and Alibaba Cloud, okay? So we will see what are all the services available in these six clouds and uh, why the people are going right in the in terms of uh, big organization and, and uh, enterprises why uh, these enterprises are moving towards multi cloud strategy and what is the reason behind it okay uh, all these things we will see in this video so i have opened uh, six tabs one is for aws and another one is for azure and the third one is for google fourth one is for uh, ibm cloud and fifth one is for uh, Oracle Cloud and sixth one is for Alibaba Cloud, okay? So why do we need to know about all these six clouds, major six cloud service providers? Uh, because uh, the modern trend is moving towards multi-cloud approach, okay? So why the organizations are moving towards multi-cloud approach? Because there are many factors, okay? One, the cost, okay? Suppose if you are a, an organization planning to migrate all your workload to the AWS cloud, uh, you will analyze all the services provided by AWS cloud and see uh, whether the cost is affordable to you or uh, whether that is suitable for your uh, business requirements and business use cases, all those stuff, right? And after deciding to move to AWS cloud, you will start using it and down the line after two to three years, um, you will end up seeing a high operational cost if you have not planned properly after moving to the cloud, right? And uh, similar uh, thing will be applicable for all other service cloud pro providers, right? Uh, even if you move to Azure or any other clouds, you should plan properly, okay? Sometimes um, you will see the unique benefit that is not available in your favorite cloud service providers, okay? For example, IBM Cloud is master in Watson services, okay? So they are a leader in master service, uh, Watson services, A and ML uh, services, okay? So also IBM uh, uses OpenShift um, because IBM um, Red Hat, um, partnership provides this uh, open shift uh, hybrid cloud platform right so for these things you have to think and move to the right cloud service provider okay and um, in case of um, storage aws may be the best right so these are all the ma major factors why an organization or it enterprise move towards this multi cloud approach okay um, we saw about cost. Cost is one of the main factors for adopting multi-cloud service, okay? Second one is um, the business use case. As I mentioned earlier, suppose if you are willing to go towards um, the Watson model, you will choose um, IBM Cloud. If you are planning to heavily use this artificial intelligence and machine learning model, you'll go for IBM Cloud or if you are thinking about uh, OpenShift or hybrid cloud platform, then you will go towards IBM Cloud. Similarly, if you are thinking about uh, storage need, heavy storage, you may go for AWS Cloud. So as a IT organization, you may have different business use cases, different scenarios. So accordingly, you can choose the right cloud service provider for your business use case. And third one is um, testing need. Suppose if you are planning to keep one public cloud provider for a, a testing purpose, right? You want to uh, test all your workload only in Google Cloud or only in Oracle Cloud based on the uh, cost of usage, right? So you can choose um, uh, your workload to run on AWS or Azure in production. But at the same time, you want to test only your workload in another cloud where that provides very uh, cost effective uh, environment, you can go for setting up um, that cloud provider as your testing environment, right? 
And third one is skills, right? Suppose if you have um, a limited skill uh, in your organization to use um, uh, IBM Cloud or Oracle Cloud or Alibaba Cloud, and you would like to uh, um, explore all the services which are familiar to you in your favorite cloud service provider, for example, in AWS or Azure or IBM Cloud, then you will choose your cloud model, multi-cloud model according to your available skills, right? And the fifth one is ease of usage, right? Suppose if you are familiar with one particular cloud service provider services and in, instead of uh, going and hunting the resources for um, the new cloud service, you just live with your resource so that you can leverage the services provided the particular cl cloud service provider. For example, if you are um, the employee skill set is like mostly on the IBM cloud service provider, for example, right? And you don't need to learn new uh, skills to manage or use AWS services, right? The similar set of services available in your IBM cloud service itself, right? So you can go and leverage and make sure that you um, address all the availability scenarios, scalability scenarios, everything, right? And um, next one is integration factor, right? Suppose you decided to go for multi-cloud service providers, like you are going to establish minimum three cloud, for example, AWS, IBM Cloud, and Azure, okay? Based on your business use case or business need. And uh, you should have a clear plan on integrating these clouds. How do you integrate the workload across these three clouds, right? Um, that is one of the important things you know about uh, uh, multi-cloud service management, okay? So, let's continue exploring the services in each cloud service provider. And in upcoming videos, what we will do, we will take one particular service in each um, cloud service provider and then compare the benefits. Why, for example, um, storage, right? If AWS is using um, S3 or AWS provides a powerful storage called S3, what other cloud service providers providing equivalent service to storage, right? And IBM Cloud gives the storage as cost, right? Cloud object storage, and how that differs from other cloud service providers, and what are all the benefits. So, when we learn about all these cloud services and compare with them and uh, get the benefit out of each services, it will be useful for us to choose the right cloud service for provider for us, right? For particular business use case. And you have to keep one thing in mind, not always one cloud service provider can satisfy all your business use cases or business needs, okay? Because these cloud service providers, AWS, Azure, IBM Cloud, Google Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, or Oracle Cloud, they are specialized in particular service, okay? So, in the wise decision in, in terms if you are going to use multi-cloud service provider, Better explore all the services and make sure that your business use case suits perfectly to uh, that particular service provider, okay? Um, so, I'm going to just uh, um, log into each cloud service provider console and then browse through all the services at high level in this video. And in the upcoming video, we'll go in deep on each particular service and compare with each other, okay? So, I am on um, AWS um, console, I will click on this uh, services and you can see each categories like analytics, application integration, cost management, blockchain, compute, containers, customer enablement, database, developer tools, end user computing, front end and web and mobile, game development, internet of things, m machine learning management and governance, media services, and so on, right? These are all the services available in AWS Cloud. If we click on one particular service category, you can see what are all the uh, services available in compute category, right? 
is easy to instance, easy to image builder, elastic beanstalk, lambda, light sill, sail, AWS outspots, outspots and the serverless application repository all those things. Similarly, if you go to Azure cloud, you can see all the services available here. You can explore and see <coughs> what are all the services. Basically, for example, if you take virtual machine, what are all the types of virtual machine available. Okay? And it, you can um, look at uh, the app services, storage accounts, SQL databases, cost management, all the major categories. And uh, in case of uh, the major categories like networking, you can see other uh, network related services and uh, containers, container related services, databases, AI and machine learning services, Internet of Things, mixed reality services, all those stuff. And moving on to Google Cloud Console, and you can see the dashboard, you can see the overview and also what are all the products available if you click on this view all products can go by category like compute. In case if compute, what are all the services available, analytics, serverless, databases. So, these are all the services available in Google Cloud. You can explore more here too. Uh, in case of compute engine, virtual machine, virtual instances, instance template, storage means disk, snapshot, image, Kubernetes engine, BigQuery, SQL, Cloud and all those stuff, right? And moving on to IBM Cloud Console. So, the IBM Cloud Console looks like this. So, uh, you can see the resource list here and if you want to explore a particular service, for example, Cloud Foundry, Code Engine, Functions, Kubernetes, OpenShift services and uh, infrastructure services categorized in this way and Cloud Pack for data. Uh, cloud pack services, um, everything will be available in this console and we will explore one by one in upcoming videos in detail by comparing with other service providers too. Okay? And moving on to Oracle Cloud. So, Oracle Cloud um, web console look like this and you can go here and explore all the services in Oracle Cloud, compute, storage, networking, Oracle database. Um, databases, analytics and AI. If you click on compute, you can see what are all the types of compute instances available and what types of OS available in Oracle Cloud. And um, you can see the governance and administration, billing and cost management features. We will explore all these services one by one. And moving on to the last cloud, uh, Alibaba Cloud. If you look at this Alibaba Cloud Console, um, you can see all the products here, right? Elastic Computing, in Elastic Computing, SQL to your AWS um, Compute Engine service and you can see like what are all the uh, Cloud Computing services available, okay? You can click on the products and see Elastic uh, Compute Service, ECS, Simple Application Server, what exactly it means and how this is uh, different from other cloud service providers we will see in the upcoming videos okay so what i did i um, created six accounts um, by entering my credit card details still it's a free account but they need the credit card details they don't charge until you use the service so that's how i created these accounts and started exploring each services in each cloud service provider and I am going to create many videos by comparing these services with each other and see what benefit we can get out of all these cloud service providers. So, this will be useful for your organization or your um, enterprise uh, where you are planning to use cloud and where you are planning to use uh, multi cloud approach. So, this video will be helpful. So, let us begin. Uh, for next video we are going to see what are all the compute services available in each cloud service provider and how um, these compute services are differed from each other and which one is suitable for your business use case or particular business use case. Okay? Hope you will like this video. Uh, if you like this video give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. 
to watch these type of videos again. Take care. Bye.